What's up YouTube, Max Lack Strings here. Today I've got a video that's been highly requested recently, and that is my spring gear bag video. Uh, so I'm gonna be going over all the gear that I'll be using for practices and games for my high school uh, spring season. So first off, we're gonna start with my starter stick, which I have in my hand right now. This is a black STX Surgeon with a uh, Max Wax mesh um, that um, has a black stripe down the middle from Stringer Shack. Um, I might be making this available, but I just got a few pieces just to test it out, and I decided to string it in my starter. And it's got all white stringing with a straight and a four diamond U. The straight is four diamonds down from the top string, it's a nine diamond top string. Um, and then it's got a low to a little bit mid pocket. Um, so I've been stringing my sticks recently, I really like how it plays and how it feels dodging with one-handed, having the pocket down low, but I also like having the feel of a U, and that's why it's kind of high up. Uh, so there's that, and the shaft is the Tri-Core al Alloy Shaft uh, that I've been using for a while. I got it at LaxCon, and I'll be coming out with a review on it very soon. So far, I've really, really loved it. It's super light. And uh, with the few practices that I've used it, it's been pretty strong, no dents so far. And then I've taped it up. It's about a third of the way taped. And that's how I like to tape my sticks um, because right when my top hand hits, this is where I like to have my hands when I shoot. Um, and then I don't really like tape up here. It's just a little bit too grippy for me. So this is my starter and my backup. It's almost identical. Um, this is an STX Surgeon, same pattern. Uh, except black shooters and just regular white Max Wax mesh. Uh, so the same head and then the shaft, uh, which is very similar to the track core shaft, is a gate ice gold. Um, I think it looks really nice on the black head. And then tape job is the same. It's got the nice gate butt in there. Next is my helmet, which I'm sure some of you guys have seen already. It is a green CPXR with my high school's decals on it. Um, it's got yellow. I don't, I don't know if these are called mohawks, but top decals, and they've got like a white trim on it, which is pretty cool. Um, LV for Loudoun Valley, which is my high school. And then for the back, it has number six, which was my number last year. But I believe I'm going to be changing numbers this year to 16. Uh, a nice American flag, Vikings, which is our mascot, and the six on the side. I really like this helmet. Um, very comfortable. I used my R the other day and it gave me a little bit of a headache, so I'm glad that I'm going back to a CPXR, which are super comfy. Comfy. Next up, we've got my shoulder pads. These are STX agents that I've had, I believe, since I started playing lacrosse back in like seventh or eighth grade. Uh, so they've lasted me a very long time. I haven't really seen a need to upgrade at all because uh, they're very protective. They used to have big floppy shoulder pads, so I cut them off. So now they're more like liners. But I really like them. I've never really been bruised or hit at all in the chest area, so these do really great. And they're nice and light, fit well under a jersey. Next up, we've got my elbow pads. These are STX Assaults. Uh, some of the best elbow pads in the game, definitely. I've had these probably for maybe a year now, and I really, really like them. They're super protective and super flexible, which I really like, so you're able to move your arms around a lot even when you put them like over a sweatshirt, uh, which I do, I've been doing a lot recently. When it's really cold, they're still really flexible and very protective. Um, the only annoying thing is that they have like little plastic pieces and they're starting to come up. I don't know if you can see that. They're starting to come up and they get caught on my jersey sometimes, but that's because I've had them for a long time and I think I might upgrade to another pair. Um, I don't know if I'll get a different type, but if I do, if I do, I think I'll just get the same pair because I love these things so much. Next up, we've got my cleats. These are Nike Hirachi 4s in white and gray. Um, I just got these, so I haven't had, I've only practiced with them maybe three or four times, but I really enjoy them. They haven't hurt at all. Um, in my other Hirachis, my Hirachi 3s, it took me like a week and I had blisters, these ones. Um, I put orthotics in and they fit perfectly. Uh, I haven't had any blisters. They're pretty broken in, very easy. Uh, I mean, they fit my foot really well. They're really comfortable. And really, I think this is a really great pair of cleats. Be looking out for a review on these very soon uh, once I get uh, probably into the first week of, of tryouts so I can get a better chance to look at them. And finally, we have one of the cooler things, which is my new Maverick M3 gloves. Uh, these are team gloves that we just got yesterday. Um, and they're really, really sick. Um, they've got our Viking logo 
right here. And then we've got some green and some yellow trim and white. Uh, the palms look really cool. And when you put them on, they're really, really comfortable, especially um, on the top of the finger or just on the top of the glove, pushing down on your hand. Uh, it's a really comfortable material. And then the palms, um, they've got a nice space and nice ventilation uh, across the fingers as well. And they've got a really nice grip on it. Um, but obviously I haven't really had a chance to play with them that much. They're still a little bit stiff, but I think they'll break in really nice. Be looking out for a review on these very soon uh, once I get a chance to test them out more. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, make sure to leave in the comments what kind of stuff you'll be using this spring season. Um, from sticks to gear, anything like that, I'd love to know. So, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.